Hey everybody and welcome to the shitstorm, an ode to the shitstorm from those peeps who originally did the shitstorm, the super best friends who sadly do not exist anymore, but I loved the series and it will live on forever in my heart, so I'ma do it, and hopefully no one will sue me. But I'm not alone, I'm here today with Sophie. Hello Sophie. <laughs> After many hours, laborious days of struggling with whatever the fuck Steam and Discord and all that shit's about, we got a game that worked. So, we'll be playing those. So, let's check out Darkwood. I've played this before. I don't think Sophie has, so she's... I, I've, I've never seen this. You're in for some shit. Oh boy! Yeah, well, uh, we're not going to skip that. Indiegogo content. Indiegogo. Oh, we don't want the Indiegogo. We don't no, want it to break. It Put it back. <laughs> It'll break the game, it says. No, no, no. <laughs> no, turn that off and then hit play above. Oh. You're going to back. <laughs> no, I'm not going to hit play. All right, you're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be loved well by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient and focus. Respect the woods. Respect the woods. Well, Grandpa will don't. come get you. I guess. Do you get banned from Applebee's? <laughs> it's actually in the basement of an Applebee's now. Like if you go down to Applebee's basement, it's like oh, it's not a secret just... cursed forest with a fox man in it. No, nah, it's an Applebee's. <laughs> All right, prologue. Arguably, an Applebee's is scarier than this. Yes. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. Plot twist. Everyone who got infected was just an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> this is what happens. This is just polio. <laughs> it probably is just polio. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Maybe you should. <gasps> A pill. Hell yeah. My and... old notepad. I found a notepad. It doesn't it's really do anything. The paper. Now, just a fun fact, when I played this game for the first time, potatoes, uh, when I first, when I played this game for the first time, I was playing it in the dark, and so when it did that flash to white screen, it fucking blinded me. <laughs> the only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. So you're Irish. <laughs> yes. Well, they did attempt to, the, the potato did attempt to slay the entirety of my people. The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. What a good doctor you are. I'm the best doctor. Don't even fucking wash your goddamn tools. Ain't nothing in there. You're surprised why they're all dying. You hear that in there? Yeah. Something's banging around. I would rather not open it. I spent too I spent too much time to lock him in there. There's something laying on the ground. Yeah, cages. This time they're empty. Dark. Yeah, well we can't go in there right now. Chair. There was something in the chair. A camera. A shitty, nasty camera. A medical bag. It's, it's not useless. useless. And a photo. 
That's useless. <laughs> of something. Shoes. Nothing within the shoes. Take the shoes, throw them at your adversaries. Cage is now empty. Where's, where's Nick? Oh yeah, shift lets you run. I forgot. Coming out of my Nick cage and I'm doing just fine. Only select and interact with objects within your reach. This interaction range is indicated by the color of the cursor. Yes, thank you. I've just woken up. Oh, radio. This radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through this static. As we've all learned from BuzzFeed Unsolved, sometimes they are voices. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some gasoline. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. Oh. In here. The wardrobe I totally walked by and did not actually look at. Booze! Oh, a bunch of shit! A board! Matchsticks! A rag! A key! And a book. That sh in not in English. You know, sometimes I wonder what would happen if I left all these items here, but I don't think they can be brought on past the prologue, so I never bother. Oh my god, good sir! Oh, hold the left mouse button to open options. Ah, use a key. I have unlocked it with the key entitled key. Unlock with key, key. I opened the. Oh. Ew! That's a wooden dog. Dog! Dog is dying. Yeah, large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Oh, buddy. Hey, hon. My dog. I don't think he's gonna make it. I should end his suffering. I'll be back in a second. We don't have any way to stop your pain. And for that, I am sorry. It's very sad. There we go. There's the suffering ender. Now have an axe. There's the Boston Basher. Let's go save the dog. And by save, I mean... Mercy the dog. There we go. Yes, I know he's not gonna make it. Can I... Please let me dog. No, I said... Oh my lord, how do I ax? There we go. Oh, I don't like <laughs> I'm kind of glad that it doesn't n n give me the option to search the dog. Get hide. Well, dog meat. There are a lot of dogs that are a problem. See, this would have taught me how to do it. And then I would have gone back and super murdered my dog. <laughs> These trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Like, the trees are fucking gigantic. Hot oh, no. Bear trap. I picked it up. It's a dead cow. There's a bone in the cow. I don't know what Should it- Should've given it to your fucking zombie dog. <laughs> no. Oh, you're in pain here. Have a bone. I have found a path. So if I hit this M button, I can see- so you don't have a marker in this game of like where you are, but if you're near a landmark, the landmark will be lit, be lit up red. So you know roughly where you are. Okay. <clears throat> and it says that up top too, it says you know you're not marked in this. To access said map, press M. The woods have devoured all of the roads that connected us to the outside world. Nobody is able to pass through this thicket. Which is why I- Bird. Which is why I will pass through this thicket. So, like, from what I've observed and understood in this game, oh, I found a fallen tree. Uh, all of the trees have grown together in like a mass. Ooh, a campfire. Burn. Somebody was here. Yeah, not too long ago, there was a person who tried to camp here and did not succeed. Press the wizard dark. I should craft a torch. If I press tab, it opens up the crafting menu. You can have normal torch or red torch. Oh, that's the one that requires gasoline to use. Oh. I think that it. I think that it burns a little longer. Like you can use alcohol, you can use gas. 
And I have to say, I would rather use the alcohol because gas is needed for your generator. And without your generator, you will not survive the night. Because that's when the ghosts happen. Don't mine at night. Don't go into the woods at night. Because that's where the wind goes are. I found an abandoned house. God, my friend, he wanted me to go to Subway at fucking 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> Are they even open at 10 o'clock at night? Yes, because the shift didn't end until 11.30. Oh. See, like, there's this fucking growth here that looks like a big hand. Oh, that's so cool. And then there's this. Oh! Tree lady. <laughs> In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. I don't like how it looks like a fucking dune sandworm. It does look like a dune sandworm. There's also a rotting deer yeah, over there. Yeah. Can I observe? No, I can't observe. It's But it's got human legs. Ah! It's that one movie where the meteor fucking makes everything mutate. Oh, uh... I knew the name of it! I liked it! Shit, what's it called? Um... Begins with an A. I don't know, I'll remember it partway through something, probably. It's not Armageddon, but it's something like that. But yeah, that movie, while not the best written thing in the universe, is super cool. Yeah, it's no. like Tank Girl. Okay. Oh! Oh, a guy! Man. Maybe I can save him with an axe. I think this, I think one this is one's still breathing. breathing. He has a big metal key. If there is an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. He's the gatekeeper, bitch. It is the key that says 21. 21? <laughs> uh, <laughs> close. Cutscene. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course he won't help me voluntarily. How do you know he won't? But that... is of no importance. Dog! What the fuck? Bro, why you do this? I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. He might have noticed that we're not the doctor anymore. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Now we're tied to a chair. Where is the exit? I'm not telling you, bitch! Where? Fuck you! Show me where! Ow! Oh, fuck! Bro, my health Jesus. bar can't take it. Sup? <laughs> Give me pills. No! Fuck! I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. No, you won't. You need me, bitch. But if I'm dead, then you can't really... Oh. My poor Bastard. health bar. Bastard stole your key. <laughs> I'm a struggle. I'm free. That fucker stole my key! <laughs> <laughs> A wire! I'm hurt. I could use those rags to craft bandages and heal myself. Can I pick up anything else? No. Band-aid. Band-age acquired. And a lockpick. I can make it out of the wires that this idiot fucking left behind. Like an idiot. <laughs> Use bandages. I have bandaged myself. And now, now we'll you're... slowly heal. Yep. Ooh, container. 
Entry to a small cellar. Maybe it's the pantry. Can I search it? It's locked. I could open it with a lock pick. <gasps> what do I conveniently have in my bag? <laughs> I've opened it. Hooray! A flashlight. Flashlights are good. And, and a shovel. It is heavy, but it has good reach. You can beat that motherfucker over the head. You've <laughs> read <laughs> my mind. Time to dismantle. Spare key is too strong to dismantle. Oh, but what if I do this? If I were a doctor, I'd be shit in my pants. The item is no longer usable. I will need to repair it. Damn it. But the door is open. I wish I could just pick that? up part of the chair. Yeah, you can use that to bash Ooh! the head. He was right there and now he gone. Flashlight? Hello? Ah! A syringe! Found a syringe. Oh, it's the bad type kind of syringe. Nothing in that cage. Nothing in that cage. Hello? Medical tools were searched. Can I go back into this room? Oh, Other there's no door here anymore. Other way. No, but you remember in the beginning of the game there was a room oh, here? Right. There's no door there now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Radio? Why is there blood on it? And where did the label go? I don't know. Oh my god, the rooms are arranged. Yeah. Satan! Now I can push things with my body. Hello? It makes. <laughs> Goatman? Goatman. Goatman. Fuck you. Oh, Goatman. that's oh. not ominous as hell. A metal that's table a, with metal belts. That's a torture table if I've ever seen one. Yeah. I'm slowly opening this box and hoping nothing bites me in the ass while I do it. <gasps> a table leg! You can beat that doctor I to can death. beat the doctor to death with a table leg. Something tells me that the doctor was in fact to blame for this plague. <laughs> I feel like even if he wasn't, it's too late now. To refill a generator, equip a gasoline tank. Hover over it with the button and press refill. Look at it drain over there. I will dump all of it in here because I don't think I'll be taking this with me. That sound is of me drinking the gasoline. This tank is now empty. Now you see the little, uh, those bars at the bottom? Each one of those is a night. That's how long the gas will last. So you Door. need to find more gas in here. You're yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was once a radio. This corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open, and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from radio static. Um. Oh. Uh, it's, it's talking. It is talking. Four eight nine two. Remember that number, would you? I'll write it down. Four eight eight nine two. It's the demon numbers. It's the number for the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you can see it down there. Never mind. Four. Four. It's eight. like that sequence of numbers that plays in PT. Yeah. Two zero four eight. Who's there? Doctor, doctor. Doctor Billy Bot. Where did He's the doctor go? Wait, no. It's it's the duty has trapped in there. <laughs> he woo. It's, it's the dude that the doctor had trapped. It is. Come God. closer. Stop. Closer. No, how do I know you won't fucking gouge my eyes out with your talons? You have been- oh It's the doctor! Oh my god! Shit! Oh my I'm god. stuck! Ah. Ah. Get out! Doctor man, no! You screamed! I don't want to check up! <laughs> Please! There's Stop it! Just one more- Aha! The dead man! He had a plastic chick in his <laughs> I almost said in his pants. In his pocket we found a little painted plastic chicky. There he is! There you go! 
This man is dead. <laughs> nope, he's not dead. I broke his face into pieces. How do you want to get out now? Do you think you can manage all by yourself? hear it. Oh, I don't like that noise. Shit is happening. This is what happens if you run out of power at night, by the way. Oh! Chunky today. New outfit? New outfit. I like the hobo rags. Oh, oh the yeah. mittens and the growing into your own outfit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Chapter one. <laughs> that was the I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Dizarin, and Jan Shalen. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Like what you saw? Have thoughts you want to share? Let me know in a comment. Want to help my channel grow? Then share with your friends or subscribe so that you never miss a new video. If you'd like to help me out and get some neat rewards, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, you guys. I really couldn't do it without you.